Hey everyone, it's Robbie from uh, One Arm Graphics here. Uh, this is my video channel and blog. Um, cover chronic pain, uh, disability, and a um, little bit of uh, design, graphic design and photography that I'm into as well. This is uh, oh, my first update in quite a while actually. Uh, things have been going really good for me. Um, I had probably uh, quite a significant breakthrough with how I was coping with my chronic pain which mainly came about from one-on-one uh, -on -one with my team leader at work I think it was a couple of weeks ago now and just in talking um, through things um, the subject was was my recording and monitoring of, of chronic pain and medications and treatments um, we realised that oh, I was probably paying far too much attention um, to the recording. I looked actually on uh, the app that I used um, and realised that I've been doing it f actually for over a year, um, tracking how much um, over-the-counter pain medication I was using per day on top of um, my um, regime. Uh, I currently use uh, drugs Lyrica. Um, NDEP uh, and Targan, which is a slow release, um, oxycodone, and, and the, the medication itself is going really well. Um, the Targan has been um, probably the best discovery for me in the 25 odd years um, I've had chronic pain and, and tried to treat it. Um, it's not perfect, I'm still um, reaching severe. Uh, exhaustion today is actually another one of those days of exhaustion yesterday was as well but the main thing is uh, my reaction towards it um, has, has been fine absolutely fine not worried about it I did though uh, have a few thoughts today at work um, it dawned on me just how weird it feels when you uh, have memory issues um, uh, because of your pain and exhaustion and drugs. Um, I had a, a thing yesterday where I was telling um, Sharon, my boss, uh, I needed her help because I'd messed up on something and it took me too long basically to, to try to figure it all out and I wasn't sure how to record my stats and stuff like that. And um, we were looking through a spreadsheet I was using hours earlier um, when I was in a in a period of, of significant pain and I'd marked some things bold and um, trying to reverse engineer an event that had only just happened and, and me sitting there saying I'm, I'm sorry I really don't know why I, I did that um, all I could recollect that at the time I thought I was doing something extremely methodical it was all spreadsheet um, work checking um, uh, stuff on a supplier's website versus what we expected um, dealing with hundreds of particular little purchase orders and statuses and crap like that um, where I thought there was an error and anyway it was main point is it was just really weird to be sitting there saying to my boss feeling a little bit humiliated because I simply just didn't remember what had happened a couple of hours ago, why I chose to do something. Um, it didn't have, the end result was it just made it hard for, for her to track my stats for what I had done. The, the output itself, once I'd finished, was fine. Um, I didn't need to do any rework. But yeah, the, um, the, the reminder from that of just how um, different your brain um, can become um, uh, and just how different it can, can become and, and how quickly it can do that is is, is weird um, you never really get used to that uh, as I said earlier um, I've I've had chronic pain for 25 years um, it, it feels like the same thing every day and of course it's, it never is it never is it's always different um, I was was thinking today uh, as well um, 
it, about how well the the, the target was working for me with coping at at work um but yet you still have these these periods where it, it's it's not um being beneficial and I'm using paracetamol I'm using wheat bags and muscle creams and tens machines on on top of that as I had done um, significantly today and, and yesterday um and yeah the back of your mind you're always going to have this fear that what was working really well might not be going to last and then I had this silly thought while I was waiting for the lift um you know, if, if, if your chronic pain was a living thing, you know, was its role, was its job, its, its um, reason for being, to, to, was it continuing? It wanted to continue? Was it, was it like, you know, fire? Um, it's, it's, it's silly. Um, and I guess because of been through so many different medications. Um, I've I've smoked dope for a number of years to, to, to help cope with it, and haven't haven't done that in many years now. Um, and yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots of failures. Um, and yeah, I don't think I'll ever ever be a one hundred percent without worry that it's not going to work um, as well as as is. Uh, at the moment, um, I had a random um, uh, email uh, from a bloke on on Reddit. He'd seen one of my one arm videos, and he was uh, I think he was an eighteen year old young chap. Um, I believe he had a similar injury to mine—a motorbike accident, um, paralyzed arm—and uh, he was already experiencing significant um, pain. And he was just uh, wanting to reach out and, and talk to me about career. Um, that's career, uh, C-A-R-E-E-R, in case you can't understand my accent. Um, career uh, issues, choices, and, and uh, you know what did what did I experienced over the years with employers and um, that that type of thing. So you know, I let him know that um, for me. Uh, my employers have, have been extremely, um, extremely good to, to to me towards me and about my disability. However, um, I still think it's only natural that you know anyone is going to um, make some assumptions about a disabled person. Um, I'm not going to go too much further into that uh, at the moment, as I think that's worth um, a, a serious uh, blog post and or. Um, YouTube video, um, career choices for the disabled, but yeah, <coughs> today, excuse me, today was really just um, wanting to have this quick little update, things, as I said, going really well, as usual, random moments when it's not, um, today, exhaustion is there, but the mere fact that I'm sitting here um, after work, <coughs> Recording this um, for you guys uh, means I'm in a pretty good state of mind. Um, uh, normally, if I wasn't, I'd just be um, blobbing out on the on the chair in front of the TV, pretty much <coughs> tuning out. So that's good every now and then, of course, to to relax in there. And I think that's what I'm due for after this. So I'm going to end it there. Um, if uh, you want to get in touch with me, uh, it's robbie at onearmedgraphics.com. Head to my website, uh, onearmedgraphics.com, obviously, um, or leave a comment below. Um, cheers. See you later.